Hi everyone, and welcome to Protocol 36. Today I wanted to make a top 5 list for the upcoming Marvel's Avengers game as I'm really excited for it and I do believe there's a lot of potential for the game when it comes out. This will be a top 5 villains I want to see in the game. That doesn't mean they have to appear in the game, but as a fan I would love to see. I'm not going to include characters like Taskmaster and Abomination because they are confirmed to be in the game and they are shown to be in the trailers as well. Also beware, this is my own personal opinion. So if there's a villain you want to see in the game but isn't in the list, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. Starting with number 5, in no particular order, Loki. Since we have Thor in the game, it would be awesome if we get to see his adopted brother. Maybe we could go to Asgard. There's a 5 year time jump from the A day event which is confirmed. So during that time, Thor must have went back to Asgard. Loki may have been causing mischief since then in Asgard or in other realms which includes Earth and it would be fascinating to see him go up against Thor and the Avengers using his Asgardian magic. Especially his abilities to create illusions, energy protections, spells, and shape shifting, and etc. I wouldn't mind if he just gets a cameo in the game since he's too big of a villain to not be a main villain. Number 4 Ultron. I think Ultron would be perfect as a post credit tease for the next game if the game does well enough to become a franchise. Since we have Hank Pym in the game, they could tease him by saying he's working on Ultron or something, or maybe Ultron already exists and we face him as a boss. I honestly wouldn't mind that however, since AIM are the main villain in this game, I wouldn't suggest putting Ultron in as that, as that would take too much attention from AIM, making it very unlikely. Next, on number 3, the leader. Since we have a lot of characters who will provide a physical challenge to us, what if we have a character who not only who not only can challenge us physically but also mentally. I think the leader would be a perfect balance and also have multiple powers that would give the Avengers a run for the money with his psionic and telekinesis abilities. Also since we know that technology will play a huge part in this game, he may also help aim create different type of tech to help go up against the Avengers. All in all, I think the leader would be perfect for a boss battle and potentially be very important for the story of this game. Number 2, Modok. I actually think of all the characters in this list, Modok would be the character who will most likely show up in this game. As mentioned before, Aim are the main villain in this game. I now would be shocked if Modok doesn't show up in one form or another since he's always been associated with Aim, such as in the comics he was a scientist and later became the leader of the organization. So in Murdoch and Aim kind of go hand in hand. It will be interesting to see how Square Enix will be able to handle the villain in terms of gameplay. As like the leader, he has superhuman intelligence, as his mind works like a computer where he stores a large amount of data and information in his brain and a degree of psionic powers, basically telepathy. Also one of his well known equipment, which is also his device of transportation, which being the doomsday chair for movement, which has different types of weapons to use against his enemies like lasers and missiles. Before we get to number one here are my honourable mentions. Number 1 Baron Zima Zima has always been one of my favourite Marvel villains ever since I was introduced to him in Earth's Mightiest Heroes as a kid. Not only a great threat to Captain America but also the whole Avengers team as he was able to lead and found the Masters of Evil it would also be awesome for us to play against the villain as Captain America assuming that he's still alive after the events of A-Day. 
Now, I don't think we will see him forming the Masters of Evil, but I also wouldn't be surprised if he shows up in the game, whether it's a cameo or a boss fight, or even a post credit tease. However, what about you guys? Which villains do you want in Marvel's Avengers? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this, please like and want more subscribe to begin Protocol 36.